Hey everybody. So it's Super Bowl Sunday and what am I doing? Studying for my boards because I'm a student. That's just what happens. But I just was bored. Or I guess, you know, when you get on those little weird, like your brain like stops functioning for a second. So you have to take a break. And I thought I would just make a little video because it's been like a whole year since I made the other video. And um, I just wanted to like give an update on like everything. Um, so I finished school in December. Um, I took my my SPI, the um, physics and the OB, which I passed. And um, so now I'm working on my abdomen exam, um, which people say is a lot harder than the OB. Um, the OB, it wasn't too bad. Um, I studied a lot and I pushed my test date back a lot because I freaked out. Like I'm, I freak out for tests, so that's just me. But it actually wasn't so bad. Like if you, if you know, like you know, basic pathology and everything, like when one thing happens, it creates a domino effect. Usually okay, um, but this video i wanted to make um just kind of going i'm gonna break it up like in each semester because that's what i've seen um this girl i think her name is her youtube thing is called like brie and family or something like that and um i like i know i would turn to that a whole bunch whenever i was doing um ultrasound like before and during just to kind of hear what she had to say so pretty much first semester you, or at least for my school at HCC in Houston, we didn't do any um, clinicals or anything. It's just strictly school, like strictly. Mostly it was, you know, basic anatomy, um, basic pathology, and we focused more on like the abdomen. We didn't do OB or anything until our second semester, which I'll like probably create another video either tonight or tomorrow morning just for fun or whatever. Um, but yeah essentially it was just pretty much a lot of it in a way is kind of sort of teaching yourself like we had pretty good teachers that you know you could always talk to them ask questions and everything like that but for the most part like at least for me to like understand it in my own kind of way so that you know i would get it and it would stick i kind of had to like read my own read it and like you know read it myself sit with it like maybe come back to a section that like might have popped up in my head or something like that and youtube is your friend because a lot of those videos that are like anatomy based for like you know med students and stuff actually help and when it comes to the board i'm being told for abdomen it's a lot of like uh relational like anatomy like the cbd is where to the pancreas like it's you know like inferior medial like to the pancreas stuff like that and the gastroduodenal artery is like anterior ladder lateral to like the pancreas like stuff like that so like sometimes just seeing it like if you're like a visual person can like be helpful in that or whatever so i think YouTube is definitely a friend. Google, of course, because sometimes you read the book and you're like, what the heck is this word? Like, I've never seen this word. So you obviously you Google the word, whatever. But pretty much like the first semester, it's pretty much just getting your bearings, like, like getting into like the detailed aspects of anatomy. And then the pathology can be a lot, especially when it comes to like the liver and gallbladder. Um, I've heard that knowing your lab values is very important, which is what I'm trying to focus on. Knowing relational anatomy is supposed to be important, which is also what I'm focusing on. Um, Mm, I mean pretty much everything and then even um, uh, supposedly for the boards like they have even asked questions regarding like procedures like because you know we assist with um, sorry um, the um, draining of the fluid why am I drawing a blank right now this is bad already um, like paracentesis, thoracentesis, things like that. Like uh, some of the students were saying that they got questions regarding like the needles, like the different parts of the needles and stuff like that, stuff that we don't really even pay attention to in clinic. It's like, get this syringe, get this whatever, whatever, and like, let's do it or whatever. But they say like, it's kind of good to know it for the board because a few students got like random questions regarding like random aspects of like different procedures and stuff like that. So 
I'll probably run through that before I do my board exam and everything. But I mean, the first semester is pretty much just getting your bearings and then always like having a study group, if not at least like one person that you can kind of just like talk to about stuff. Like having at least one person is helpful because I'm not like super social, like I'm kind of like off to myself a lot. And just like having like one person to talk to, like even if it's just like, hey, like I just want to talk this out or whatever. It actually helps a lot because, you know, especially if like you're teaching somebody else or if somebody asks you like a legitimate question that you have a handle on, you can explain it better. It sticks better. And then like, you know, the opposite occurs like, you know, when you have a question like they have a handle on and they can talk to you about it. So I think that, was, you know, that's something like to keep in mind to have at least one person like and honestly, even for like the OB boards, like. I use my fiance like to help me study for it like I would have him open the book and just like say a random word out of the book and I would just like go into detail explaining it and he would kind of like skim through it and be like okay yeah you're right here you're right here you're missing this like so wherever you can get help from get help from them because you know every little bit helps and if I study in weird ways like I have to like take my time and sit with it sometimes I literally just stare at the paper or just stare at the picture for like 20 minutes while I'm listening to like some study sounds or whatever I don't know if you've heard of like those YouTube study sounds like binaural beats or whatever like they're supposed to help like ingrain stuff and I don't know if it's real or if it's like my brain thinking it's real but if it helps it helps you know so um so yeah that's pretty much it for like first semester it is it can be hectic i guess depending on your school if y'all have a lot of assignments like scanning assignments on top of studying but usually like you can use the two together to like help with one class you know help with both classes really or whatever so um i think that's it um i'll probably pause this and then do like the second semester type thing just to give more insight but yeah this is my super bowl weekend and houston is crazy because we went out last night and it was 200 dollars to get into a club which we didn't pay of course because i'm not working yet so yeah but yeah it was kind of crazy it was 200 dollars to get into a club and i think another club was 400 dollars, and i'm like like oh my gosh but it's super bowl so you know but yeah that's that part so that's like first semester um only thing I guess I could sum it up as is just learning, like know your learning styles for sure. Um, definitely like physics and everything, like make sure you're paying attention. Like, cause physics, honestly, it wasn't that bad. Like that SPI exam that you have to take first, it's not so bad. If you just know the concepts, like if you have that understanding physics, but I don't have the book with me, but it's like understanding physics. I think it's like the standard for most ultrasound schools. Like all those questions in the back of the book, just know those questions, like understand what they're asking and understand the different ways that they're gonna ask. Cause they'll like in the boards, like they ask like the question in like a roundabout way. Like, so if you understand like the roundabout way that they're asking it, then you'll get it. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like, you know, board questions are always weird, but. But yeah, that is that, and that was the first semester. I mean, it was it was kind of tough because abdomen is not my friend. I don't care so much for abdomen. Excuse me, abdomen. But um, we got through it, so that's that. And we'll end with my cat sleeping on the couch. <laughs>